Yo, we're back. Extremely random. Um, episode. I'm back. Oh shit. Miss Cookie. This nigga got her feet up and everything. Yeah, man. Yo, there's a war going on out there. No one is safe, but I see you got your camouflage on. You don't know. <laughs> I, I know now. But it's war. Look at that. What the? I had this outfit on before, though. What the? Bro. <laughs> You was a jerk. You like As you see, it's me and him again. Only the two of us. So we zoomed in on this thing right here. Um, usually we got that thing spread out a little wider, but we zoomed it in a little bit and everything is just us now. Just the two of us. We can make it if we try. Just the two of us. Oh, just the two of us. Yo, I'm so proud of you that you knew the words to that. I was saying it. I was saying it to myself. Because I wanted to make sure. I was so scared. I was scared, too. And I said, yo, she going to fuck this shit up. She going to fuck this shit up. I'm trying to uh, do better you know, with the song. You, you did damn good. Damn good. That's, That's the only part I know. Because it's an oldie. Because mm -hmm. it's an oldie. You know what I mean? Old people know old songs. Then you go throw in that fucking shade again. Come on in the screen. Get up there. I told you we shot. We shot. We shot. We shot. Hey, um, Do you see what I see? <laughs> yo, man, um, we're gonna we're gonna get them on this one. Okay. Watch this. Um, there we go. Yeah, there you go. Um, it's kind of crazy. We shooting on a DJ DJI Osmo today. Not the co-host DJ. Is that shade? Is that shade? I love when women throw shade at each other. I love that shit. I love that shit. I love it. I love it because really, I love when y'all like like y'all make it very evident that y'all don't really like each other. Like like when not you and her. I'm just saying women because y'all act like y'all like each other, but y'all really don't. Women don't like each other. I gotta knock it the fuck off with all of this fucking women camaraderie shit. Knock it off. All right, y'all don't like each other. Men don't like each other neither. So we never did. We never did. We never did. Right. We snitch on each other. We do all types of crazy shit. Don't say we, because you know that makes it, like make it seem like you. That makes it seem like you snitch. I don't. Well, don't say no, we. They my, say them. Dudes have done it to me, oh, yeah. but I'm just saying. I'm saying. Um, That's I get them back. I get them back you. later. I get them back later. And <laughs> anything, but I'm just saying. I'm patient. I'm very patient. I'm the most patient person you'll ever meet. Oh, I know. Oh, I'll get you later. Oh, I know. You know, but I'm just saying, oh. like, 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 like women. <laughs> Yeah, I gotta stop. Men, we know what we do to each other. It's a doggy yeah, dog catty world. Yeah, too. It's a doggy dog world. Yeah, I cat. He did catty too, just like us women. Next. She said, next. Yo, um, disturbingly random. Um, episode, I think we were on eight. Oh. Because we split, we split, we split the last episode into two parts. And then we Six did another seven. one. Oh, Me and you. We split it. Oh, hell yeah. So this is nine. But the goddamn it, it's nine. Damn it. Hold on. Let me get your cup then. We want to toast to this shit. Yeah, baby. Ching, 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 ching. We are episode nine, season two. Hey, holla at your girl. And if we and if we lying, we trying. All right. <laughs> if we lying, we trying. Yo, we <laughs> Hey, we got a lot of shit. Yo, it's late, but we still gonna do it. We ain't gonna tell them what time it is right now because they don't know because when they, they don't get need this, to know. It's, it's different when they get this. Yeah. Different. We on a different different time zone. Different time zone. Different time. Zone. So you know where we at? Y'all wouldn't even believe us if I told you. They think they think that we'd be where they at. Mm -hmm. They had no idea. And um, a lot of stuff we want to talk about. Um, I think last week. Uh, oh, oh, last week. Me, it was me and you. The week before that is where you went ham. You went ham on AG. Oh yeah, fuck him. Why? Let me ask you something. <laughs> this is real shit. Why do women... <laughs> Don't look at the ceiling. Because I'm trying to make sure I process what you say because you know <laughs> but, I have a delayed reaction when you talk to me. But why I have do, to process but, to get it right. Why do women, why do women like go off on guys? Like, is it is it like the whole women's movement, the, the, the women's empowerment movement? What do you mean go off on guys? I'm, I'm, I'm trying to finish. Why do y'all go off on guys and not 
expect that guys to, to come back at y'all at, like um for that whole situation. Like why why do y'all go up on guys and don't think nothing should come of it? Oh, I know it's go- that's a repercussion mm-hmm. of anything you do and say. Mm-hmm. But, but I'm just saying, w- what you gonna say? I'm I'm oh, I got a stomach. Okay. No 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 no. Not, not, not to come back like. That. <laughs> not to come back uh, like that. I mean, no. but why do y'all feel like it's okay to do that? Y'all don't think it's some repercussions like. But like, y'all think it's okay to come at women. So what's the difference? How you gonna ask that question when y'all but, started though? But I'm just saying. So, y'all make us but he didn't, act. But he didn't come at you. AG didn't come at you on that episode. He didn't come at you at all. He was. In oh, Aruba. that's when we called him in Aruba. Yeah, he was in oh, Aruba. Oh well. Come on over here in the screen. Oh well. But I'm just saying he was like you went off on the dude for no reason. But why y'all be doing that, the dude? Cause he be full of shit. <clears throat> so so dude. You gotta call. <laughs> You gotta call bullshit when you see bullshit. He making me cough for talking about his ass. <laughs> I'm good. Hey, she smoked a blunt. Who? <laughs> That's how you just choke, choking. Get in the screen. Let them people see you. He's an asshole. You was a true, true. I group. just want to know, like, like women, like yo, a lot of women, y'all be getting ill and anything on, like, wherever y'all, at, like, whether it's online or in person. Yo, listen. Today I walked in the store. I walked in uh, real shit. I walked in the store. Two girls was going in the store. You know, um, one girl had on thigh high boots, suede joints. Fuck me boots. Fuck me pumps. Yeah, that's fuck me pumps. Fuck me. Fuck me pumps. And she had on those, and, uh, and they were like thigh highs, and the other one she had on some leggings, and they was tight. The one, the blue jeans for the thigh. You, you, you had a whole. You just looked in. Everything. I see everything. I always see everything. And so, they if were, they ask for a description, you know how to give a description. I could if I would. I could if I would, but um, they were going in the store and. You was being a gentleman. I was being a gentleman. I held the door. I grabbed the door. Hey, you guys go in, whatever. But they were walking in. Nobody said thank you when I grabbed the door. Oh, oh shit! Oh, oh goddamn! Oh, oh, oh goddamn! Oh, they ain't tell you thank you. And I said, wait, wait. I said, ho, ho, ho. And she said, huh? What well, a second one said, huh? The first one already walked in. I said, thank you. And she said, huh? And I was like, yo, this not my fucking job. <laughs> They thought you was the door, the yeah, door like, holder. Yeah, I'm like, this not my fucking job. And Wait, what? What do you call them people at the hotel when they hold the door open for you? A doorman. Oh, uh, they thought you was the door. I'm not a doorman. I'm not a man who holds doors. Uh, ain't my, ain't my job. And anything I'm saying is like this. Yo, I'm doing it out of the courtesy, out of, out of courtesy. They didn't, sh- they didn't say nothing. I'm like, yo, yo. They said, oh, I'm sorry, this that. And then I saw them inside the store, and they wouldn't even come down the same aisle as me. And I'm like, they were young, and you know. Cool, I probably should have let them, you know what I'm saying, get by or whatever like that because they were young. You know, because, you know, young people make mistakes. But I'm like, yo, you're a fucking asshole because you're young. Yeah, you got to learn. You, you got to learn now so that when you get older that you don't do this stupid, mm-hmm. crazy shit and anything to nobody else. That's just what I feel. You know what I mean? So it's like, I don't, first of all, I don't like young people. Let's get that straight. I don't like young people. I'm so glad that my daughters are old now. You know what I'm Wait, saying? Wait, what do you call young people? Like them early 20s. I don't like them motherfuckers. So what, isn't that co-host in her early 20s? No, she's in her 30. She's 30. Oh. I don't... Uh, she's on the cusp of me not liking her. Ooh. She is. Yeah, I heard her from the own No, I'm just being honest. You know, she's on the cusp. Oh. She's on the cusp. She's right there. She's like, yo, she just got over to me not liking her thing. So everything that I don't like, that I might not like of her right now, is because of what she do. Okay. Younger people, I don't like them because of who they are. Mm. I don't like them motherfuckers because they don't think first. And that, them two little girls today, them two younger young women today and anything, they acted like little girls and anything. So they just wasn't thinking. They was trying to get in there and get their stuff and get out. I don't have time for that. I don't have time for that. I don't have time for nobody who don't think. That's well, not. That's, shit, that's you not my world. Definitely got time for me because half the time yeah. I, I bet you, my I bet you think now. Don't... I bet you think now. You you gonna learn to think. I guarantee you, by the end of this, mm, by the end of this it, season, it take, no, by the end no, of this season, no. you'll be thinking. It takes time for me you to think. process stuff, so it's man. Cool. Every, think, every, I think, but I don't think on your own turn on your time. Everybody who's been watching this, 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 this podcast, I guarantee you, they realize that you've been being a lot more, a lot more uh, engaged in thinking. Yeah, because I wasn't drinking. But whatever it may take, 
Whether it's drinking, whether it's not drinking, whether it's... Are you drinking today? Nope. Okay. Nope. Why you say nope so fast? Nope. Nope. <laughs> right. 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 <laughs> Yo. Whatever. Whatever. Hey, we got a lot of stuff to talk about, man. Yep. I'm trying to get to this stuff. Where you want to start? Me or you? Um... Yo, um, is uh, is, is Tyrese Fifty's son on um, um, Kanan's son? What? On power. I just want. <laughs> I had to get this shit out the, the way. The little young boy. <laughs> I'm I'm gonna watch it at twelve o'clock um Sunday morning. I'm gonna watch. You mean that. tonight? Twelve o'clock Sunday morning. Twelve o'clock. Well, twelve o one when it comes on on mm-hmm. power. I'm gonna watch it. So. You then you saying are you is asking Kanan, is that his biological son? It's that Kanan's son, yeah. That he did, did Kanan bone Tasha. Yeah. He did. Mm-hmm. So Tariq is really Kanan's son. Mm-hmm. That's what that's all about. Mm-hmm. That might be the thing. Because I told everybody from get-go, when that show, like second season, I said uh, Tariq's going to take over and he's going to send Ghost to jail. The same way that so Tasha you predicted and Kanan, everything. Tasha and Ghost sent Kanan to jail. They're going to send, yeah, I predicted this. I saw this all coming. I, I said, "Listen, the son is going to become is going to inherit the father's sins." Mm-hmm. I said that. Come on, man! Y'all, y'all, stop playing with me. Stop playing with me. Yo, Did you see how Fifty Cent writing? posted that? Um, they trying to what is it on stars or something? Like, somebody is still no Dish Nation. Somebody I forgot. I got to get it right. Mm-hmm. They said he said, "Let them know. Don't count." They trying to take a show off. Let me get this shit right. I ain't gonna make a fool out of myself on the TV don't, again. Don't, don't then. Hey, um, hey, you know, I always say that, um, like, you know what, I, I try oh, to... Oh, shit, where you did that? Oh. Hit the light Thank God. Now. I am. Hey, um, I'm hey, what to do. Well, i tell you about telling me what to do. True. Um, speaking about these, about these celebrity people, I, I try not to make this podcast about celebrities, but I try to touch upon, like, things, like, uh, that's going on in, in the public, and if I got to use celebrities to make a point of it, then I will. But oh, Xfinity is dropping power. Oh, he said, "Get your get your money by Monday." <laughs> Incredible. Hey, um, you ever did with a sex addict? Or would you even? How, how would you identify a sex addict? Or do you even care if it's what? Oh, or would you even like a sex addict? Would you like? I to think do- I probably was a sex addict. Wow. So you would like the you would like somebody who's a sex addict, or you you would be the sex addict. I don't. Would I like to handle that shit? If the dick is good, he could be a sex addict. And you, you with it? Anytime he ready. Mm-hmm. Dick is good. Oh my god, I could just imagine. ASAP Rocky is a sex addict. Uh, he is. Yeah, so he, that's what he said. Mm-hmm. I don't know what he was doing. He was over there in that Swedish prison. <laughs> but okay. they said he he said he was a, he said he had sex at it. Yeah, who confirmed it? <laughs> he said it on uh, I don't know if anybody confirmed it, but he said it on Andy Martinez show. I like her thing. I like Angie. I love her. Angie's dope. You read I had her a, book? I, yeah, I, I had a thing for Angie. She's you know what? She's one of the only people whose book I read from. No, her and uh, I read her book, DMX book. Right. DMX book got a, what yeah. book out? Yeah. I give it to you. Yeah, I got it. I'll give it to you. Oh, shit. 250 cent books. I'm slipping this I, way. I got them to you. I'll let you check them out. No, I need my own because I like the highlight stuff. So oh, I can okay. reference stuff. I don't mind. You can highlight them. No, because I got to give you your book back. Yeah, I don't mind. I don't mind. You give them back. Oh, you're so generous. Yeah, you watch Rhythm, Rhythm and Flow on Netflix? No. Yo, ain't nothing. I got it. Okay, can you connect my TV then? I got you. Because I got a smart TV now. Oh, my shit. You want me to get you the power? The, uh, the, uh, what's it called? The, um. Uh, fire stick? The fire stick. I got my own. To download fire stick. You want me to hit you with that? I got my own. You want me to hit you with that? <laughs> <laughs> I get you. I, I got you. You I got, got you. I got okay, you with that. Okay. I got you. You know got what I'm saying? It. You start talking too much, they start shutting things down. No, we don't need that. I got you. Okay. You anything. But, hey, um, Rhythm and Float. T.I. That's what T.I. Chance to Rap and Cardi B. Yeah. You gotta watch that. That's like the, um, that's like the American Idol from the hood. 
You, you better watch this shit. Did you shit. say the American Idol from the hood? You better watch this shit. T.I.'s a smart motherfucker. And, I swear for and, God and, that nigga is smart. And that's where it stops. Because Chance, I don't get it. Cardi, don't get it. They have not had enough longevity in the game. Well, it's just like me. I ain't. I didn't know nothing about no podcast. I was all over the place. Damn, that wasn't. So hurry, now that was like, okay, let me get this shit together. Get my head right. Give up drinking and think right. I did it. So this is you after once. This is you after a hit album. Because <laughs> you Cardi B after one hit album. No. Because yo, I'm on might, season two. Yeah, I mean, you might be after one hit album. And no, it's two hit album. Hit, two hit album. Next season gonna be three. I'm gonna be a. I'm gonna go platinum. I'm gonna go platinum. Mm-hmm. I mean, listen. As soon as people start realizing they, you know what I'm saying, what they've been what what they've been missing out on, they think, yo. They probably man. like she was all over the place. She getting that shit together now. You know, damn right. I've been paying attention and learning. That's it. Watch and learn. Watch and learn. Watch That's and learn. It. Watch. You see me? Make sure you see me good. You gonna see me on TV? She got camouflage on too, just so you know. Hey, um, <laughs> yo, you put yo. It's a good show. I like it. But T, you know what? Ti is like the only person who I think of that show is, is like. They're solid. He he's a solid. He's a solid person. And they, like I can respect Ti's decisions when he said like somebody's good or somebody's bad or whatever. I don't respect Cardi B's because she just came out and like I think Cardi B is like the um, Beyonce of hip hop. What do you mean? I don't think that Cardi B. Um, I thought she was the poor lab dude to the Simon. <laughs> I think and Randy. Uh, well, you call it what you may, but Cardi B didn't have talent from get go. I think that they kind of put together a talent. Hey, what do you mean she didn't have talent? She didn't have talent. Cardi B came into it as an Instagram phenomenon. So she was just talking. She wasn't rapping when she was on Instagram. And they put a package together and they said she could, if, if we attach this package, this hip hop package, this rap package to her, then mm-hmm. she can go because she already got the followers. Mm. And I think they did the same thing with Beyonce. Like Beyonce couldn't sing from get go. When well, she was younger. Don't you play games. You yeah. don't think she couldn't sing don't when she was younger? Don't you play games? Don't you play don't games? You, don't you play games? I don't, don't care how much you like to be high. I don't. I don't care how much you. I, I, <laughs> I don't care. I don't care how much you like to be high. I don't. You care. ain't seen them episodes when it was her and uh, Kelly and when they was younger. Beyonce couldn't sing when she was in Destiny's Child. Beyonce couldn't sing. So who, even, was the, even, who was the top singer? Latoya Luckett. It was Latoya Luckett and um, what's the other girl? Kelly? No. Who? It was four though, right? Yeah. It was Latoya Luckett. And Michelle the, wasn't there. She no, came late. Michelle, not Michelle. It was the other girl. They were singing. Beyonce wasn't singing. It's just that her father happened to be the, the manager. And then Beyonce and everything didn't really develop her singing until her second album. Well, everybody don't develop everything right away. All right, but that's not my point. My point is that Beyonce couldn't sing. I didn't like Beyonce until like her third album. Want me to tell you when I really like Beyonce? You ain't like, I'm a survivor. No. Want me to tell you when I really like Beyonce? What? When she got with Jay. Hey. And want me to tell you what, what was the song? When she was talking Bonnie about... Bonnie and Clyde. Nope. When she was talking about putting his do-rag in... in, in um, God, Jesus Christ. What was that song? It's a song when she was talking about, like, you know, it's not brush your hair and your waves and your do-rag and all that stuff like that. And they, they, I'm gonna come on, so you come wait. On. Let me get this straight. You started liking Beyonce when she got with Jay Z. By that time, yeah. Beyonce didn't realize that she. I don't think nobody realized Beyonce and anything like. So what are you trying to say? Jay Z opened her up. Nah, I'm trying to say and like bro- uh, blossomed her to this beautiful flower she is we today. Can, we can go with that, but I'm not gonna say offset. Or to the, and made her to the honey for the bees. <laughs> yeah, but I'm not gonna say that offset opened up with Cardi B though. I'm just gonna say like, yo, it's a package. Well, you know, every it takes time for everybody. It's not that it takes time; it's just that it's a package put together. So, so what do you think about come, me then? You're you talking about a package. Them? So, what am I, where, where my package at? I'm putting your package together now. Oh, I'm going to build you. you hear that? Don't worry. You hear that, right? Don't worry. You heard what he said. Don't right? worry. Okay. When, listen, listen. Everybody, everybody has 
somebody who's pulling the strings and anything to create who they're going to be later on. Trust me. Trust me. You'll see. Cardi B and anything got yeah, people pulling say. strings. And anything I'm saying, Beyonce people, listen, you're going you gonna to be, you, you're going to be like the, the, the Cardi B and the Beyonce and of their podcasting. That'd be interesting. Yeah. Well, I can't say that. Say, say interesting again. <laughs> You started your shit already. See what I'm saying? Say, See what I'm saying? Say interesting nope. again. Please nope. say it, please. please nope. for me. Because you always want me. When you ask me to repeat a word <laughs> twice, that means I fucked up and I'm not going to say it again. Because that's all that's, you want me to do. Is that's see, good, though. No. That's good. No. You believe in work now? <laughs> you believe in workplace burnout? You you think that people... Do you get burned out at work? <laughs> woo Do I? You do? What? You, you, that might be that might be a diagnosis. You might be able to go to the doctors for that. I'm saying you might get burnt out from work, and then you can go to the doctors and then what he gonna do? Workplace diagnosis. Then what he gonna do though? Workplace burnout diagnosis. What they gonna give me? What they gonna do for me? They give you time off. There might be a way you can pull this off. That's not some Jersey shit, right? Ain't that some shit that Jersey women? California. Pull? Nah, Jersey will pull some shit like that off and just be sitting at home. Driving mini vans all day. Ah, oh, hell no. Soccer vans? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yo, Jersey moms, I think they put their kids on a bus and they get in that minivan and they go meet up with some guy and they even park a lot. You stupid. Yeah, give head, <laughs> give head, give head. Yeah, give head. And, um, where do you, and they don't, up and they go where to do Target, you come up with a, go shopping at no, Target? Gonna say, why not Walmart? Mm, or Walmart, and then they pick no, up them make kids. me do my analysis. And then they rush. Don't make me do my analysis. Whenever you see, a, whenever you see, a minivan rushing at like two thirty-five, three o'clock, going somewhere, it's because they trying to get to that bus stop to pick up them kids because they was giving head too long in a parking lot somewhere. Why they couldn't be out doing yoga or other stuff? They did that too. There's a lot of hours left after the morning after they dropped them kids off. I got six hours. They can do yoga. So, did you have a soccer mom give you head before? Once upon a time. Yeah, probably. Once upon a time. I said, once upon a time, probably. Yeah. 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 So, that's how you know about this? Yeah, I know this stuff. Uh, I'm, I'm telling you. Yeah, he's got them, he's got them yoga moms. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. Jersey got it. Jersey get it. So, that mean, the mo- that mean, hold up. So then that means they must be married to a man that got money if they're not working then. Okay. Yeah, well, how else do they have time but to how not money, work? But how much money do he really need? Depends on where they live in. Okay, but how... And they do, live in Tom Zerger. Let's, listen, let's, let's say they live how in does Tom she Zerger. have... No, if she's not working, how is she doing all of this? Let's say she's on unemployment and he lives oh, in... You gotta be fucking shit. And you said unemployment? Yeah. It, let, let's say she's on unemployment. Let's say she don't work. Yeah, let's look at all with the unemployment. Ah, right, let's say he don't. Let's let's say she's not on unemployment and he makes seventy five thousand a year. They live in Tom's River. Mm-hmm. Tom's River is a little cheaper than living up North Jersey. Oh really? Yes, it is. Oh, cause I know my niece lived down there. Yeah, and they, they live in Tom's River, which is down in South Jersey. Hmm. They live in like Lakewood or some shit. And they, they I'm saying it's like yo, you got to think about that. Hmm. Less to live, he make about seventy five thousand a year. And then she sit at home with the kids. Mm-hmm. Now they don't have to pay for like after the aftercare. Cause she pick them up. Cause she pick them from school. Mm-hmm. They don't have to pay for uh, you know what I'm saying certain things that would you know what I'm saying come to play and anything that you know what I'm if she was at work. That just sounds stupid. No, it don't. It sounds That's, real. No. All right, <laughs> suit yourself. But you'll think about it later. So now when I see a, mo- um, a, a soccer van, um, a if I'm off like this, work, yeah, 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 look at I'm like, TV. let me look. If she's Russian, me. if she's Russian to get somewhere, and you, she's like cutting off cars and stuff, she spent too much time in, a, in the parking lot. Then she somewhere. busted. She got caught. She's like, oh, let me hear me get this Shoot. damn boy. Let me get Jamie off the bus. <laughs> John. Mm-hmm. I'm telling you. I, 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 you got to think about it. What do you think about them Rick Ross and um, Dwayne Wade sneakers? They ugly as fuck. I didn't say they're ugly. They're ugly as fuck. Yeah, I would think so. They're ugly. I'm going to tell you, I would think so. Um, Dwayne Wade should have just went on his own. I don't think the two of them got enough style. I'm, I'm, and this is not a diss. I don't think the two of them got enough style for me to say I would like anything by any of them by themselves. You want me to show you a sneaker? Yeah, yeah, show me that. So collectively, I wouldn't like it. 
So that, that's like two guys who I don't, I don't really like that style. To think that it's something good. Wow, that's ugly. I see it already. That's ugly. It's ugly, right? That's that's very ugly. That's um. Yep, ugly. Yep. <laughs> zoom in, zoom out. <laughs> she says zoom in, zoom nah, out. I wouldn't buy that. Yeah, that's whack. Yeah, it's kind of. Don't think so. Oh, yeah. You keep those. You so, let's those. talk about Nipsey your daughter, Hussle. Yeah, um, your, your daughter might like him. I'm not saying I like him since. No? No. You don't think, you don't think she'll like him? Mm-mm. Yo, don't make me do it. I'll call in her. She, she gonna like those. No, she not. I'm gonna act. I her. know her. Watch. That ain't her style. She gonna be like, I think those are cute. Mm-hmm. <laughs> She's so cool. Yeah, right. She's so cool. What do you think about Nipsey Hussle, um, killer? Oh, they said what they say. He said he wanted to reduce charges. Uh huh. He wanted two of them dismissed out of the six. Fam, I thought you was claiming you was crazy. You know what I'm saying? It's like yo. He said. Wife... Yeah, uh, yeah. Read this one. He said we're gonna read it. Ready? He said Eric Holder is reportedly trying to get two of the six charges against him dismissed in his murder case. What charge is he trying to get dismissed? Holder faces one count of murder, two counts of attempted murder, two counts of assault with a deadly weapon, and one count of felon of possession of a firearm in the case. According to documents obtained, Holder's defense attorney filed a motion to dismiss the two attempted murder counts. But you murdered him. How could you, how could you want to dismiss him? And you're him? on camera. But how could they you, see you killed this man. How could you want to dismiss the attempted murder if you murdered him? Nigga, go sit your ass down. I know you trying to say like, yo, you know what I'm saying? You was in the They train. need to build the new jails they built for Riker Islands on top of him. Yeah, they might be. Yeah. What the? Yo, man, I'm done. Um, People, people are crazy this, in this day and age. People are crazy. So how you feel about Mac Miller mother don't want a documentary or a book written about him? Of course she don't. She, I mean. But let me ask you, how does that work? Can somebody still write? Yes. A book about you, yes. even if you don't get permission. Yes. But isn't that against the law? No. I thought you had. We need permission. Nope. They just don't get. They don't get the um information from. So it's not people. factual information. This is just it based can be on based on what you feel. What they what think. You, what you saw. So you know I, mean? I could just write a book about you. Yep. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. There should be a law about that. That's, that's nope. not right. I mean, I can say... Because if, if you, that you, you put a book you, out on lies that's you, not if true. If you say something that's not true and I don't like it, I can sue you for defamation. Okay. I can sue you for defamation. However, and anything I'm saying, if um, if you write something and anything, I feel like, yo, it's cool, whatever, like that, you can get your money. Hmm. But I thought you had to get permission from, like... Nope. Hmm. Nope. Freedom of press. Freedom of press. That's like a newspaper. Newspaper writes stuff about people every day. Yeah, they do. You know, we sit here and we talk about this is freedom of speech. We sit here and we talk about people every day. You know what I'm saying? Every week. And we say what we want about people. Yeah, we go off what we read. Man, I'll make up some shit in a minute. I'm about to make up shit right now. Um <laughs> 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 now, yo, you do <laughs> some real shit though. Thinking of speaking about making up shit. Yo, you think um is Kanye West an evangelist? Do you think you think Kanye West is an evangelist? I don't know what's going on right now, huh? I think you're going through a phase. You don't think Kanye West is like um the next best thing to Joel or, or Joel Olstein? Don't you ever in your life, ever in your life do that? No, hell no. You love Joel Olstein? Yes, and Joyce Myers, and, and T.D. Jakes, and my pastor. But so, don't you ever put Kanye West in that category. Who the hell do you think you... Why would you do that? you telling me off right now. No, hey, but why would you do that? Because, do you think so? Well, let's, let's go here. Here we go. Here we go. You're well, going to cause me to go back to drinking. Well, um, drink now. Hey, so you, did you know that Joel Olstein he didn't open up the doors to his churches when um, the floods was going on? That's a lie. That's not a I'm lie. I'm going by what people said. That's a lie. 
He didn't? He did. Oh, he did open the door. Mm -hmm. He did? Mm -hmm. You sure? Mm -hmm. Okay, if I show you the article that he... Uh... I seen the article. Mm. I seen all the articles. Mm. I seen everybody who posted on Instagram. Did you see what he said? What you said? And what did he say? I seen all that. <laughs> what did he say? I seen all that. <laughs> if I show you what he said, he said that he did have people in there. Mm -hmm. And the people were like, we was in there. <laughs> mm -hmm. he, was, he didn't have anybody in there. <laughs> he never opened the doors. He said, I didn't think that there was a problem. So let's get back to Kanye because Kanye's just as, like the, the what I see Kanye as is what I see Joel Osteen as. Joel Osteen full of shit. Um, I know you don't like it. Ooh, I, I gotta listen. Move away. I, I just I, got I, baptized. I can't sit with you. I didn't say that. No, I no, can't no. sit with you. Stop thinking that Joel Osteen's not you. Jesus. He's I didn't say Jesus. he was Jesus. Oh, I don't never put nobody over Jesus. Okay. Jesus can't nobody. There's nobody. So Joel, no. don't worry about Joel. Let's worry about let's what's your boy name at the um your church Agape. What's his name? Pastor Power. Was Lee, he he rocked it. His, his mixtape was ill. No, he wasn't. That's that. He was the director of the choir. Oh, but that his was in the past. But his mixtape was ill. Um, let's not let's let, let's not get Joel Osteen involved with that. I don't like Joel because he's a slick. Kanye's a slick stuff. Okay, so let me ask you something. This is all in Texas, right? Who? Joel. Yeah, all of this is in Texas, right? Yeah. Okay, so wait. Now, when this all happened, did T.D. Jakes open his doors? I don't know. I'm talking and about so, Joel. Okay, well, you if you're going to compare... No, I'm not it, comparing. Well, if you're going to talk about it, let's no, talk going, about all, all, no. all across the board. Because how you end up with Kanye in there? I don't... Because I'm trying to get to Kanye as far as him being full of shit. Oh. Uh, he's he not doing rap no more. He's doing all gospel. And we're going to... Thank you. Thank you for thank you for that walk. Because this is why I say he's full of shit. Like, do you believe that Kanye is an evangelist, or do you mm -hmm. like? How, what do you look at? He's Kanye? going through a phase right now. He's do you he's trying to him? find himself. Why don't you believe in Kanye, but you believe in Joel? What do you mean believe in Kanye? He's doing the same thing Joel's doing. Kanye is on a whole nother level. Kanye is on a whole nother level. You know goddamn well Kanye is on a whole nother level. Did you see the interview with him and his wife? No, but it don't matter. Kanye spreading the same words. Kanye no, spreading no, his own Kanye's word. No. no, Kanye spreading his own goddamn cookie, word. Cookie, nah, cookie. nah. Kanye nah, spreading the same nah, word nah, that nah, nah, Joel nah, nah. is doing. No, he's not. Joel's right. He's just doing it through under the uh, w w w under the guise of hip hop. You can't get mad at Kanye. You're I don't crazy. like Kanye because I don't like Joel. But I'm just saying, you can't get mad at Kanye. If you want to like one, you got to like them all. Mm -hmm. All right. Whatever. I'm trying to find the the interview. Who the, was it on the shave room? It had to be on one of them. He ain't like he said. He tired of Kim Kardashian the way she's dressing now. Man, that's fake. I think all that's fake. Why do you think it's fake? Honestly, I think all of that. Anything that anything that the Kardashian, anything that's linked to the Kardashians, and anything the Kardashians do, I think that is like. I think that is is all propaganda and BS and anything for like for them to promote something that they're about to do. That's what they're doing right now. Well, isn't that what everybody everybody does that? Which is I, I don't believe in that's that's what makes me not believe in anything that anybody else do. Mm. Like that's what makes me. This is why I don't like celebrities. You know what I'm saying it's like, and I was trying to think of another word for celebrities and anything, but I guess the only word I can think of is assholes. It's like. I don't like them. Why? Because I, I I don't like the way that they play everybody out. I don't like that. They make everybody believe like, yo, we really going through this and we doing that. Or we going? It's like, yo, everything that a celebrity do is always rooted in something that, that they're promoting. Hmm. She's like, <laughs> you don't like that? <laughs> like yeah, that, that. Well, that's how you get that's how you get your recognition, I guess. No, there, there's a department in. In, in record labels, there's a part, department and everything that celebrities are involved with, there's a department called promotions. Mm hmm And marketing. Mm hmm Why don't you use the marketing dollars and the promotion dollars and anything to get it out there? Stop creating these fake stories in the news that make people jump on board to that. It's, it's like, How stop you know they all fake, though? They're fake. You should really start looking at these stories and start trying to figure out what would make them real. 
Okay, I I do that, but what you don't do it. I said I will start doing that, but okay. my thing is, what what makes you think they are fake? Um, everything. I start off saying that they're fake, and then I say like, show me that they're real. You start off saying that they're real, and you'd be like, "This, I don't want to believe they're the fake. I don't want to believe that. I don't want to believe that." That's how you do it. Yeah, because I try to. You you want to give everybody the benefit of the doubt, but they got too much money to be, get get the benefit of the doubt. They get too much money. It's like. If you got millions of dollars, I'm not giving you the benefit of the doubt. I'm not doing that. You got too much money. I want you to prove you got enough money to prove to me that you're true. That you're telling the truth. Mm. You know what I mean? It's like this, yo. I'm working hard and anything for me people to believe in me. Why they don't have to work just as hard? So make me believe in you. Cause it's easier. Nah, I ain't going with that. I ain't going with that. Mm. I'm just not going there. Okay. Listen, man. So, what's up with the T.I. Iggy? What happened to her? Oh, oh, T.I. Oh, yeah. I never, I never mentioned that. T.I. T.I. believes that his biggest mistake was um in signing Iggy Azalea. I heard him. I, I, I um, said, I seen that's, that. That's the white uh, rapper girl. But what happened to her? She sold 38 or 48 million? 48 but I'm million? saying she just fell off? She sold 48 million records. So she was a one hit wonder? No, she sold 48 million records. She killed him. One record? No. Uh, how many records did she have? Um, a couple of records. I don't, I don't know how exactly how many records as far as like singles, but um, she sold a lot of records. Um, mm. Iggy Azalea, um, she got a butt job. And she was messing with the um, basketball player boy, NBA boy. I forget the name. Did you say she got a butt job? She did. She had butt jobs. She did. She said straight up she had a butt job. Well, she didn't give me some more money, so I can get me a stomach job. Absolutely. Hmm. Yo, man, you better start putting your name. You, you just better start putting your, yourself out there and everything. So, yeah, hey, man, listen. Stop. I want a tummy tuck. You heard me? I done said it. I done said it several times. I even had a, uh, what was that shit? That Go fund me. Fuck you, because you didn't even never fund me. You sat me, souped me up to put the shit up. And then they didn't even contribute to the shit. You know, you some type of a partner. You always do shit like this and then don't help help your co host. People don't I don't think they work like that. They work like that. No, they don't. They so don't. you just soup me up to do dumb shit? No. I'm not doing that shit no more. <laughs> no. I do my own shit. No, 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 I'm not was, fucking that, with you. That was real shit. <laughs> that was real shit. So why you ain't help? You, you didn't promote fight. it. You, gotta, you ain't I did, and you didn't promote it neither. You gotta promote it. I did. You gotta promote your I did. Fight. For real, you got to pr- promote your GoFundMe. I did. Trust me. I did. Yo. <laughs> you yeah. ain't even put a dollar in it. You talking about, I got you. I, I promise you. No, hell no. I thought I put five. You ain't put shit. Matt, Matt, Matt gave me five dollars. <laughs> he was the only one who gave me money. Five dollars. I should have kept that shit, but I spent it. It wasn't me. I don't know. I kept it. <laughs> but no. I'm t- I'm done. I probably I should probably I should probably stop this shit right now. But we you gotta let it ride. You gotta let it ride. Um Nope, we gotta let it. We gotta let it. Yo. I think next season we're gonna come back with my mic sound nice, Jack. One. My mic sound nice, yeah. Jack. Two so I can do shit at echo. I need that shit loud and clear. Certain things I wanna say, I wanna loud and clear. I want the echo out. Hey, you want some real? Um for, it's real shit. Real shit now. This is real. Real shit. I, I think, Boy, we've been phony all this time? <laughs> probably. But, um. No. I think thoughts are dead. Hmm? Thoughts. I think thoughts are gonna die. What's your definition of a thought? Like. I want to know if I was one. Chicks who. Chicks who, um. Chicks who out there giving it up. And anything. And, and getting it popping. And, and smashing quick. And, um, is they getting anything? Whether they do or don't, you know what I'm saying? Um, just chicks who, who like in a, in a, in a day of, in this day in the world, the women empowerment where, um, women are trying to be respected and, and they trying to, uh, get their money and whatever like that and anything in a respectful way. I think that, um. You can kind of draw a, a, a hard line in the sand of what a thought is and what a respected woman and anything is. 
So we know what a thought is and we know what a respected woman is. Respected woman is she getting her money in a respectful way. A thought is a chick who's out there like getting, whether she's getting the money or she's not, but she's not doing it respectfully. Hmm. I think I was a thought, but I was doing it respectfully. Explain. What did you just say? I thought. Was? Ex- explain. Explain what you. What did you just no, explain what you were doing. Explain what you were doing. Just had my friends, my male friends, but. You was thoughting. I think I was. But. <laughs> oh yeah, I think I was. Yes, I think I was. I think I was. Then I ain't getting no money. So you, so yeah, you was definitely thoughting then. Yeah, you were just. Because I felt like nothing. that was like a prostitute. <laughs> it, it is <laughs> in a way. He was out there. He was so out there just free ball. He's man. free ball. Oh shit! That's why I be broke. Damn, I ain't got a Louis bag. I ain't got a Gucci bag. I ain't got <laughs> Louis shoes. I ain't got shit. I think I ain't got Chanel. Like, don't worry, it's about to be dead though. Then we can buy. We about to dead thotten. It's about to be dead. It's over. It was over for me. You want me to tell you why it's over? It's because everybody does it now. Thought? Yeah, everybody's a thought. Everybody's a thought. You a thought? No, I'm talking about every female's a thought. Why men can't be th- men can be thoughts? Men's been thought. Men been thoughts on their lot all their lives. That's all men do. Men, men, it men. <laughs> men, men, men don't know how to be nothing but thoughts. So why? Let me ask you something. Why, if a woman do what a man do, is a problem? Y'all wrote the. That's how the rules are written. No, 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 no. Because just like you just said, if y'all can be a thought, why? Well, Y'all can be, but we gonna call you that. Okay, prime example. We can be, but y'all gonna marry prime, us. No. That's what's gonna happen. Mm-hmm. Prime example, right? Say for instance, you call me, mm-hmm. and you's like, "Yo, I'm about to slide through real fast." And I say, "I'm good." What you mean you good? I've been hit off already. You a whore? Why gotta be a whore? But it's all right if I call you like, nah, I'm good. Because you done did what you did. So what's the difference? Why I got to be a name, be called a name, and it's all right if you do it? It's up to you. You can call us a name, too. You know what I'm saying? But why do y'all feel like y'all got to call us thot, bitches, whores, sluts, and all these other names when y'all do it? Welcome to the world. That's how society is. I don't give a fuck now. Don't. I don't. I used to. Oh, my God, I used to. No, I don't give a fuck. And, and, and listen, and uh, listen. I don't give a fuck. But, damn. But you know what? It's, up, ain't to, it's, it's up to y'all. To, it's up to y'all to tell the next dude what y'all have done. Y'all can keep that to yourself. Nobody's ever got to know. Okay. So it's it just, you know what? When y'all start trying to be, like, the worst thing that a woman can do is be honest. Yeah, yeah but y'all don't know how to handle that. Don't. Don't be honest. But then you, when we lie, then you're like, yo, you're a fucking liar. But you don't know. Well, make up your mind. You want me to no. tell the truth or you want me to lie? But who? But if you tell a lie or you just don't be honest, who's, like, how would he ever know? How would he ever know? He don't have to ever know. Hmm. So just keep it to yourself. Just don't ask me that. Yeah, if, if he asks you, you don't have to tell somebody the truth because he asks you. But somebody asked you just be like this, yo, you know what, yo, I don't really want to talk about that. Either you with me or you ain't. Either you, you know what I'm saying, we hot. Oh, I'm going to use that. You yeah. You with me or you ain't. Well, I don't want to talk about that. Yeah, that ain't, that ain't but, You know what I said, though, yeah. since I've been baptized? My past is my past. Don't bring that shit back up. Yeah. You bring if that shit it, up, I'm going to ignore it. If I left it behind, then you should, too. Exactly. Yeah, you know I'm mean? looking forward. I don't look in the rear view. For real, for real. For real. Like, like, moving forward now, like, it's like, yo, there's no such thing as a thought anymore. And, and I'm going to be honest with you. It's going to be another name now. No, it's not. Yes, it is. It, it, it went from a whore. Yo, it went listen, from a slut. No, you don't get it. Now it's a thought. Nah, thoughts, whores, sluts are going to be out the window. So what is it going to be? It's going to be just, that's just what women are going to be. What? Regular women. Because dudes are going to start accepting women as they are. And I'm going to tell you why. I'm gonna I'm I'm tell you who did this. Because I, 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 I tend to show everybody exactly who did who did what and why people are the way they are. Mm-hmm. Kim Kardashian. You don't want, you don't want to help me? I'm listening. All right. Kim Kardashian. 
That's like saying you turn no, a whore no, to no, a no, housewife. No, 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 no. Listen, Kim Kardashian, she started this whole thing. She started it. Did she really say she started it? You want me to show you how? Because of the, the sex tape with Ray J? Yes. Yes. Before that, a lot of guys was getting pictures and anything, sex pictures. It was sexing was going on. Sex tape was going on. People was getting pictures um, of girls and anything. She went ass shots, city shots, coochie shots, or whatever like that. But they was like, oh, shit, yo, she sent me this, she sent me that. You know what I'm saying? How do they know if it's really a person? Listen, listen. Go ahead. Dudes is doing videos and anything of chicks getting busy or whatever like that. I know dudes who was, yo, I came home, dudes was showing me videos and anything of chicks getting busy. I was like, yo, word. Kim Kardashian came out with the video. It was like, oh, shit. Long, not long after, all of a sudden, everybody started doing videos. Everybody's videos started showing up. Yeah, just like, what's that um, Mimi from Mimi Housewives from, of Atlanta? No, no, no. I mean, not Housewives, Love of Hip Hop. Now, now said Housewives of Atlanta. Oh, man, man, man. They probably got some, too. Sheesh. But now, everybody has a sex tape. I would have loved to went to um, Candy's oh. Dungeon Show. Yo, every time you saw Sam Sam, every one of you bought the tape, like, I would have loved to have had a sex tape. Yo, Hell no. Yo. I don't think I was. No, I, no, I don't you, think that you was. Do you think you have a sex tape out there? Um, you probably do. But yo, damn. But here's the crazy thing. I'm looking stupid. <laughs> that damn. Yeah, that's a sight to see. Yeah, you, you crazy as shit. But yo, now, <laughs> now what I was saying was that now everybody has a sex tape. Whether it be because they was like, yo, sex tapes ain't no big deal, so I'm going to do one too. Or whether it be because they saw the success that... But isn't like a sex tape like doing porn? Yeah, it is. Or whether it's because they saw that Kim Kardashian got some success off of it, and they like this, I can get the same success too. Nah. But I'm just saying, this is the mindset that people got. Because people, they think they look at somebody who got success, and they strive to be like that. Social media. Social media. Social media made it more accessible. They made that 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 visible that that vision more accessible. So what they didn't see before, now they can see easily. So it's like that made Thotten so much like like they took the the whole stigma off of Thotten and they said that's just what everybody do. Look, most women when they go out nowadays, what do they dress like? Prostitutes. What do you mean prostitutes? And when I go, I don't dress like no prostitute. I didn't say you. I said most women. Because they be dressing like... They dress the same way the one, prostitutes One thing I do, I, I don't like is... It be cold as hell and they be acting like they don't need no coat because they got these little short dresses on. Fuck you, not short, me. I short dresses and thigh highs. Ain't that way the way prostitutes dress? I don't know how. No, a prostitute don't even give a fuck how she look. Yo, listen. They just me, be out there on the me, corner. Let, like, let me explain to you. Let me explain. Yeah, exactly. Back like they fixing they shoot. What the hell? Yo, I back in the days, back in the days, yo, we, we stole a prostitute one time. We stole one. We stole a prostitute from a pimp. How do you... St- back in the days, me and my dude, me and my, <laughs> me and my dudes. How yo, do you steal a human... From somebody. First off, Isn't that like kidnapping? First off, a prostitute is kidnapped in the first place. Because when she out on the block, out on the block and they on a stroll, she's out there and everything. She, she's been kidnapped from her environment and she's out doing whatever. At least this is what they lead you to believe. So I'm going to go with that. But they're out there. Allegedly. They're out there doing their thing and they think for the pimp. And they've been kidnapped from their natural environment and most of them come from other states and they're up in New York that's like human trafficking then yeah that's what yeah yeah. so and instead of saying prostitute might as just call it human trafficking that's the new word human trafficking yeah that's the new word back in the days prostitution they it was human human trafficking no prostitution was just prostitution because you're just, no 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 what no, happened no, to 42nd shooting that was the so, that was a prostitution yeah, back in the days right there. but like down in the meat the meat packing district and they, you know, all the prostitutes would be down there in that little cobblestone area, and they had the cobblestone street area, 
Yo, we used to come through there and everything in the downtown area. End of the night, we used to be out on the block, whatever, like that, doing our hustle, doing our thing. And we'd come through, going to Manhattan. You mess with a prostitute before? Just listen. I mean, no, I was scared of prostitutes. I've always been scared of prostitutes and strippers. Always, all my life. Um, so. I'm in love with a stripper. I'm in love with a stripper. No? No. Um, you ain't getting your money to the strippers? No. I, I did a little bit, but not a lot. Oh, uh, I feel funny. I like, so you tell I like me you ain't go to the strip club no, with no money? I went, and I would, I would throw money, but I didn't like strippers that much. I liked, I used to mess with a stripper one time and anything, but, nah, I wasn't crazy about it. She didn't do tricks for you? Yeah, but I, I wasn't crazy about it. Mm. You know what I mean? Um, I wasn't the right one for her. She probably wasn't the right one for you. Mm, yeah. But um, I can't tell the whole to a housewife. Nah, but um, but yeah, so we used to um go down there to the um the, the mess with the prostitutes at the end of the night, <laughs> and I would be the lookout guy. I'd be like, yo, I keep a lookout for the cops. Let my dudes get in the car and do what they're gonna do, get head or whatever. So, um, one night we was out there, and you know, one prostitute she got in into the car, and she told us her story, and they and said probably the same way a pimp told him. Told her his story. And we was like, yo, we're going to get you out of here. Well, we ain't say it. They said it. And so I got in the car and they was like, yo, we leaving. I said, yo, you got to put that out of the car. They were like, nah, we taking that with us. And we ended up taking it to Jersey, to New York, New Jersey. And we brought her to Jersey. We had in a hotel for like two weeks. What's that was doing with her? We was keeping it in. Well, they was doing their thing with her or whatever like that. I brought her McDonald's. Because I ain't really want to do nothing with her. I, ain't, I wouldn't mess with uh, prostitutes and strippers. So I brought her McDonald's. Like, it was, when it was my shift, to come and watch her. And they, you know what I'm saying? Yo, I came over. Yeah. Right on 1 and 9. This was back in the days. Back, um, this is like 30, 30 years ago. Yeah, I brought on um, 1 and 9 in, um, whatchamacallit, in, uh, in Jersey. At a hotel. This motherfucker is crazy. Yeah, and we had a hotel. And I brought her a McDonald's. Like every day. So what you had to sit outside the room or sit in the parking lot? No, we're going to the room with her and I sit there. I talk to her. We would talk. She was from Louisiana. And then, okay, hold on. And we got a we got a bus ticket and took and sent her back to Louisiana. For two weeks, do was y'all bringing her clientele? No, she was in the hotel room. She was recovering from all of that bullshit, and we were just going to chill with her. Them dudes, they was doing whatever whatever they wanted to, but I wouldn't on my shift. I didn't bring. I didn't do nothing with her. So I brought her McDonald's, and she like fish fillets. <laughs> and, and yo, and we got her back out of Louisiana on the bus. <laughs> and yo, the, she was a nice girl, man. She was nice. What did she say made her do this? She said the dude like took her up here, like he came from Louisiana. Got, yeah, like she came up here and anything, and he like snatched her up. But yo, he became he gave he became a good friend of mine. He moved to Atlanta. He became a good friend of mine. Her pimp? Her pimp. Did you know that was her pimp? Like, he he was looking for her. <laughs> and we became cool with, with him. And, like, that and was And y'all my... ain't tell him what y'all did? No, nah, we told him. And then he became my, my, my dude. That was my man. So, like... So you was involved with a pimp? That was my dude. Like, he moved to Atlanta. And he was like, yo, I'm done. And he started selling t-shirts. And they in Atlanta. <laughs> This is a funny story. Yo, this is funny shit. Yo. Oh, shit you just can't make up? Yo, like... I don't make this shit up. He was on t-shirts. Back when black t-shirts came out and Onyx had the, you know, said back to fuck up t-shirts. He was, the, he had them. Yeah. Down in Atlanta. Atlanta ain't have a big hip hop, um, you know what I'm saying, situation going on. He was down in Atlanta selling back to fuck up t-shirts with Onyx. I was down there. And I was coming to buy like, like 50 t-shirts. He's telling them like 450, 350, 450-ish shirts. And they, I come in with three fifty, two hundred fifty dollars, four hundred fifty dollars. So fifty t-shirts. Fifty t-shirts, yeah, twenty t-shirts, whatever. You had a, a, a very man. interesting life. And they, I will tell you more stuff about what happened with me and him down in Atlanta and everything, but that's that's very incriminating. So I'm not going to do that. Mm, right. Thank you. Great story though. Great story. You think so? <laughs> oh, it's a great story. I'll tell you off air. <laughs> You'd be like, oh shit, that happened. I hate you. Yeah, it's just deep. I, hate yeah, you. I, I hate wish I could you. tell stories. I wish I could tell more of my stories than anything the way other people tell stories on podcasts. You know what? You're going to be one of them um, men, like when your kids grow up and you get grandkids. You're like, let me yeah, tell you. You said that. You right told here. me that before. Let me tell you what. Let me tell you. Back in the day, I used to do this and this and that. And I'm like, this. I, mean, yo, I wish I could tell you more shit. Man. You don't have pictures of all the shit you used to do? No. That's that telling on you shit. 
the Instagram is telling is telling you shit. I'm not telling on myself. Certain things I keep to myself. I only tell things that I'm not gonna get out of. <laughs> For real, real shit, real shit, man. Uh, only you can get out of. Yeah, only tell shit I can get out of. You know what I'm saying? Um, what was I gonna say? Um, hey, I was gonna tell you about this shit. I broke this down. Um, what? Did, do you know who Gio Manaka is? No. Who well, is that? Gio Manaka is a Japanese dude who um. He came over from J- Japan. He wants to be a part of Bone Thugs and Harmony. Back in the day? No, yesterday. <laughs> the other day. The other day. I'm talking about Bone Thugs and Harmony was back in the day. But he's been loving them since a long time ago. He said, you know what I'm saying? He wanted to be a part of them. So, you know what I'm saying? Be down with them. So he came over here. He saved up his money. Came over here from um, Japan. And um, he came to Cleveland. And he's like, yo, he posted up. And he's like, yo, I'm Bone Thugs and Harmony. I'm down with y'all. You know what I mean? I don't know what moan he was going to be if he was going to be like. Did they let him be down, bro? If, if he's going to be like a, a fortune bone or what. But he got robbed for all his shit <laughs> over there in the mean streets of Cleveland. He didn't do his research, man. And nah, he, he got robbed. And, um, and then went back to Japan. And he was on the news. And they couldn't even talk to this fool. Because he don't speak English. So that he had to use his Google. His... Time out. You know what? Did you say? Yeah, he had he to He came use... over here from, he was repping, he was down with Bone Thugs and Harmony. He can't speak English? He can't speak English. So how the hell they knew he was repping, he was down with Bone, because of the Google talk? Yeah, he, so he got on and he was like, yo, uh, he was speaking to Google Translate. And it was saying everything on the channel, <laughs> on to the newscaster. I bet important. he went back to Japan. He at this point. I bet he went back to Japan. At this point, he ain't had no money to get back. He could have called his family. I'm pretty sure they got. If he they robbed him of everything, everything like what? Because he had something. His luggage and everything. He had no. What is this coming to America? <laughs> <laughs> that's a, ain't that some crazy shit? That's though? the new coming would to you, America. Where, where, where would you go? Where would you ever go? That you just be like this? Yo, I don't even know where the hell I'm at. And they didn't feel like, yo, you know what? I'm just going to take my chances. Where would you Where would you go? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Mm-mm. I'd be you, too scared. You would go to Cancun. Have you some gargoyles. You would go by yourself. You would go. You try your hand. You would try your hand. I need to start going by myself because I realize I need to do stuff by myself because it don't work when I try to go with other people. Shit don't work out right. But you got to put that together. If that's what you want to do, then you got to put it together. You're but like, then I'd be scared to be traveling by myself. It should be happening to if you want to go, If you want to go somewhere by, with, with somebody, then you got to put it together. You got to just be like, yo, you know what? I'm, I'm going to try my hand. I'm, you know what I'm saying? Yo, let's just go with anything. If I don't like you and anything when we get there, then I don't speak to you. <laughs> you go your way, I go my way, but let's get back on that plane together at the same time. I holler. Hmm. Yeah, try it. I'm gonna find me a friend that like to travel. Hey, do you like to travel? Oh my god! All right. Uh, no. <laughs> Why you keep trying to put me and him together? You then he he was on vacation with someone. Let him go on vacation with that one. Is, is, is there, speaking of AG, is there somebody who can say something hurtful to you? Is there, is there any any one person in this world that can say something that's hurtful to you? People have said a lot. A lot. Of is, there, is there one person? Like, is there one person that you'd be like, yo, you know what? Um, they can really, they they can really like um. They can really push my buttons. Yo, yeah, my ex, that motherfucker. know he can push every button I used to have. I'm saying now nah, he can't push shit. I got him on block. Yeah, you, you block. What? I got a lot of people on block. Oh yeah, since you guys say. Yo, guys, that open my eyes. I ain't be for the bullshit no more. I know I was a train wreck. Oh, I know I was a train wreck. You know who I think can um can push buttons and say hurtful shit? You. <laughs> Damn. No. Yeah, you ask ask that question again. Ask that question again. No, I'm not. Ask that question again. No, I'm not. Ask that question again. <laughs> do I have? Do is there who anybody? Can say hurtful shit to you. Go ahead. Who can say hurtful shit to you? You. Not me. Yep. Yeah, oh, hell. Let me tell you something. Off cameras, ooh, 
That motherfucker on camera, he where he is on camera, he just like that off camera. I promise you. You ain't you the same on and off. The switch, if you turn the switch on, you on. You turn the switch off, you off. You still the same person. And generally speaking, why you look cockeyed? Yeah. Hey, generally speaking, um, I think that um. Do you got somebody that can push that button for you? Generally speaking, I think that the one person who could push buttons. I for, actually do. You have I'm one. I'm gonna say okay. it. Generally speaking, I think that the one person who could push buttons for anybody is the um the ex girlfriend. I think the ex girlfriend could push buttons for everybody. I think if the ex girlfriend says something crazy to to the guy, they could push buttons. She could be like, you know, what I'm saying she could say something crazy like. Nigga, you wasn't shit in the first place. You ain't you, and you wasn't hitting this right. Push this button. And she could say... That's when he gonna be like, you bitch, you thought you... And lost his mind, lost his mind. She could say to the new chick, like... And your fucking new bitch that she ugly anyway. And she ain't got nothing to do with it. And she, she ain't got like, nothing to do with it. What bitch? Da, 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 da. And she lose her mind. She can, yo, the ex-girl can, yo, she can change the whole relationship. She can say she can change the whole relationship, right or wrong. The ex chick is the she's the groundskeeper to the new relationship. She's the gatekeeper. She's the groundskeeper to every new relationship. The ex chick, she don't even know it. Cause that I mean they are intimidated by her. But the ex dude ain't. But they ain't understand why she the ex though. But the ex dude ain't. But that's really what they need to. They need to realize why she's the ex. Cause she's the retard. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm the fucking retard. <laughs> Yo, but the, but, but, but the ex dude. I believe it. But yo, the ex dude, he ain't. He ain't as powerful as the ex chick. Nah. Cause the ex dude, no, 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 don't ever care what the ex dude say. Like, like that nigga ain't. Like yo, fan. Honestly, that nigga wasn't hitting it right. Cause yeah. if he was Turn hitting up, right here, still right? be here. Right? No, he, he's like yo, fam, yo, yo, fam, yo, 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 fam. I get it. I, I feel you. I feel you, my dude. They say that shit yo. and do the same fucking same thing. They the damn ex did, and he's then like, he yo, be the ex. He's like yo, you, yo, you gonna hit that? Yo, I should stink, fam. Yo, that's just nasty. That look bitch don't even keep a crib clean and shit. Yo, uh, and then like, yo, and then I be like, what? But he she be, was all that, but you was yeah, fucking her he and laying in that dirty crib. Dudes what that mean? What that say about you? Dudes don't even care. They're like, yeah, I feel you, my dude. Yo, you know what I mean? She with me now, though. That's all they gonna say. A dude, gonna, cause the dude like, yo, you know what? I'm gonna fix all that. In a dude's mind, he's like, I'm gonna fix all that. Dudes don't care. New dude don't care. He always gonna fix all that. That's how it goes. So what if he, how are you gonna fix something that he probably ain't got no money? But if damn, did you just really shoot down a new dude? <laughs> so the new dude got new dude made the camel came on and he got money. But why you keep talking about AG though? Damn, you now now you talking about because I want to know why you keep bringing him up. He's irrelevant. <laughs> I know that's your boy and all. You miss AG? I don't know. Be honest. Why would I miss him? Because, I don't... you know what? You know what everybody keeps saying? <laughs> everybody keeps saying. Everybody keeps asking me like this. Is she like EG? I'm like, no. pro- I think so. No. I think so. I promise you. Honor you honor give me a lot of detective tests, and I promise you I pass you know, it. I, prom- I swear on both of my kids, I pass it. A little bit? He don't turn me on. A little bit? Mm-hmm. He did at one time. At one point? Mm-hmm. Expectations? Did you Did you lose your expectations? Yeah. You, you just like, like I like lost him. my expectation for Tyrone. Damn! Stop. Okay, stop. Please don't make me edit too much. I don't want to edit. I don't want to. I don't want to edit. Why? It's disturbing. Because, no, Why I no. can't say what I want to say? Because I don't want to edit. Because I don't want to do people's names. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, just like I, the yeah, other him, person, yeah, him, yeah, him, him yeah. down, him I'm, down, still. <laughs> you tell you, I'm gonna call Tyrone. Okay. You just see you saying the name. That's I ain't saying nothing. That's a song. Better call Tyrone. Call him if you. No. Yo, women. Yo, what the Did you, do you know that guys are scared of women nowadays? Hell no. And guys are. Guys are scared of women. Why are you telling me? You scared of women? I am. 
I, like overall in a general sense, I'm scared of women. Why? Wow. I mean, I I take that back. I'm not scared of women, but I'm just I'm 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 aware of women and they bullshit. You've always been aware. I, I I've always been aware. You know what I'm saying? Um, women say some women women do some things and you guys say some things that um. That'll jam a guy up. That y'all motherfuckers jam us up when y'all don't keep it real and tell us if y'all in a relationship or not. And then we out with y'all and this bitch be like, who the fuck is this bitch? We up. That jam you up for five seconds. No, no. Because anything liable to happen, you can go, you can get into a fight, anything. We don't know. So how you going to say that? We jam y'all, y'all jam us. Jam. Jam. Jam on That's it. Oh, jam. Yeah. Teddy Jam for me. Teddy Riley and them. <laughs> wow. I don't know. <laughs> wow. I got a song for every day. I promise you. I'll fucking make a song up. No, I ain't gonna make the song up, but I, I my but, interpretation but be different. Guys, guys be scared. Guys be scared of women. And they think no, I'm on a whole different level, man. It's different. Cookie, cookie is different. It's yeah, like need you gotta be. be. You gotta be. No, Just like y'all think the be. grass is green on the other side, so you get to the fucking other side, then you get hemmed up, then you want to come back on that side. Stay your ass over there, nigga. Did that apply to what I was? Did that apply to what I was saying? Yeah, because I had my ex. That motherfucker. No matter. He always thought the grass was green. He would leave. Get with somebody. And get his son jammed up and, come, and come back to dummy. And dummy say, You back. That's Jay Z. Mm-hmm. Jay Z face. And then, That's Jay-Z face. And, then, and, then, and then when things don't go right his way, and I say some shit, because I'm a pop shit. Because if I'm, I'm wearing the pants in the relationship and paying bills, I'm a pop shit. I'm going to say what I want to say. Because niggas, you ain't paying these motherfucking bills. You don't say shit to me. So then he run off. Then you get him up again. But I'm done. You can't come back. Block. And that's the way women feel nowadays. I don't can't speak for all women. I speak for me. Okay. What is a submissive? Why, why do men want women to be submissive? What does that mean? I need the, I need a clarification. It don't that. mean like to sit down and what just What does it mean everything. though? It just means like, yo, allow me to be the man, to be the provider, to be um, the protector, the protector okay. or whatever like that. Just allow me to be. So that's what's missing me because yeah. I don't have all kinds of different... If he, listen, listen. If, if, if a dude can't do shit for you, then you don't need to be submissive. And I, and I ain't talking about pay your bills and shit like that. I mean, like, submissive means like, yo, um, to, to take care of the things that he's supposed to take care of as a man. Like, a dude ain't supposed to be taking care of a woman where she just sit back and sit on her ass and don't do nothing. I never was like that. It just means like, yo, a dude's supposed to take care of things. Like, yo, you know what? Lock the doors. You know what I'm saying? Um, Make sure everything is insane. Yeah, my sister. I love my sister. She makes sure her husband locks the door yeah. and turn the lights up. Yeah. Lock the doors. Make sure everything is safe. And um, and, and secure everything around me and everything so I don't have to worry that, you know what I'm saying? Yo, um, I'm protected and I'm I safe. I know that. So, but, but it's like, like women get caught up in this whole... Um, take care of me, protect well, yeah, me, I and did. whatever I, like that. I, had, like, I, I was dealing with this guy. He was a real man. He was a real man. His black ass was a real man. <laughs> he was black and tar, but he was a real man. He was a provider and a protector. He said he was tar. Like, how black is tar? Like the black in your shirt? Yeah. Yeah. He was black as shit. He, so what he, happened to him? It, it went left. All over our Why? Life. Why? Because he he believed the law. Somebody told. You miss him. I did at first. No, I don't. But he ain't now. I don't know. Oh my god. I don't know. Hmm. He called me a bitch. Oh yeah. Oh, somebody told him something. He went wild like that. He called me a bitch. He called me a low light. He called me a piece of shit. I said, damn. All that. And then I said, okay. I said the truth gonna come out. You say. And then as the truth is kind of going to come out, I put that shit on block. I'm not doing that. We're not doing that. Mm-mm. You're not going to disrespect me, and I know I ain't doing nothing wrong. Mm-hmm. It is what it is. I have had some serious, some crazy ass ladies. But then that, that goes to say, what that say about me, though? I mean, 
Let's not say much about you. As I far mean, as... I'm, I mm-hmm. must be the fucking crazy one, right? No, no, Dealing no. with the shit, going through the shit. Mm-mm. It just, That's a lesson learned. It says that you learned a lot of lessons and they didn't become better. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's yeah. why I be talking to my daughter. Take it from me. I've been down that road, been there, done that. You're the you best wanna, teacher. You're the best you teacher. You do not want to go down that road I've been down. I've been down many, a, plenty of roads. So, so, so. Let me, That's let me how I knew you. I ain't want no more kids. I had two baby daddies. That shit didn't look cute to me. That shit did not look right. I said, so if I get with another nigga, I'm going to have another baby by another nigga. I just didn't want that cycle to keep going. I was like, okay, I got the lottery ticket. A boy and a girl, that's it. That's it. So, I mean, smart, smart. I had a son. Smart he was child. the first. My daughter. It's like, okay, I had an engagement. I had an engagement ring. I was engaged twice. I ain't never make it to the awesome. So. I hear you. I'm good. Now. So let me ask you this. Um, and that, that, that kind of brings me to this um, as a last thing to touch upon. Um, how do you feel about like like people who who are always people who are always winning, people who always win, winning, 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 <laughs> winning. <laughs> um, people who are always winning and anything. Um, do you feel like um, what do you mean by winning? First of all. Everything always go their way. Like people who always... I just feel like it's just their time at that moment. No, 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 no. So, so I'm saying like, um, I, me, me personally, I feel like people who always win, they don't know what to do, um, when they take a loss, or they don't know what to do when things don't. Go oh, they don't know how to handle so a loss. Know how to handle a loss and anything. So it's not good to always win. I think it's always, um, it's always. Well, I wouldn't know because I never won. So you would so it would be great for you if you did win one day, and they you know saying because you know saying you wouldn't you wouldn't go crazy with the wins, you know what I mean you know what I mean so it's like yo know, if if you've never had a win or whatever like that you know what I'm saying yo you would kind of take the win and anything and strive. Be humble. I would have humble. to be humble because because you'd be like yo I don't know when I'm ever get this win I'm again. I'm get this win again. You know what I'm saying? The people who win all the time. When they lose, they so messed up in the head and they, you know what I'm saying, that they lose their minds. It's like child prodigies. You know what I'm saying? It's like when everything always went their way and they, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and I'm going to be honest with you. Like, I almost went through something like that. You know what I'm saying? Because things always went my way and anything as a kid, as growing up or whatever like that. So I went out, as I grew up, I didn't grow up in poverty. You know what I'm saying? I grew up in, um, I grew up in a lifestyle and anything where it was, it was five of us in the household and anything as far as like siblings. It was um, me and my brother and my three sisters and my mother and father. And we grew up in Long Island or whatever. And um, we wasn't at a loss for things. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know what I'm saying? We shared. Long Island is like a uppity part, isn't it? Not uppity. We wasn't out in Suffolk County. We was in Nassau County and anything. So it's not uppity. We was like upper, we was like middle class to upper middle class. No, I ain't never been middle class. So it's like we wasn't sharing a spoon and sharing a bowl to have a, you know what I'm saying, uh, cereal, we whatever, like that. You know what I'm saying? We like clothes, whatever, like that. And they didn't, but, you know what I'm saying? My mother and father, they made it, you know, they made it, you know, enough for us and anything to get by. But, um, um, as time wore on, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know what I'm saying? Um, things became a little bit, you know what I'm saying, less. Um, we didn't have a lot, a lot. More of a, what we had as I was growing up and everything, you know what I'm saying? Um, but we wasn't struggling. We didn't struggle. Um, you didn't need. You didn't know the need, the need for wanting anything because you yeah, always got. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so what I'm saying is like, damn. The point I'm trying to make is, is damn. What was I trying to say? I was trying to tell you something. Well, I don't know. You was fucking talking. I was just listening. No, because when. You were yes, saying you live in Long Long Island, and you were saying about poverty and the uh, how you didn't have to need or want anything and the, when you wins and losses. There you go. Back mm-hmm. to that. See, oh shit! When I don't drink, I focus. Damn, you damn sure do. Cause I brought you back. Oh, you damn sure brought me back. I saved you. I ain't even let you drown. She said you didn't let me drown. You was floating for 2.2 seconds. 2.2. Like you the thing. Lightsaber. Yeah, Brought this. you back. <laughs> catch this. Um, but yeah, but like, um, it's like, it, it, it's like, damn, I'm really lost on this. 
I really got lost. Was again? I, I got lost again twice. What the fuck wrong with you? I don't know. Cause I was trying to make a point. Just uh, say the shit. Stop tap dancing around the shit. Come out. I'll edit this. Don't worry. <laughs> um, <in the> <laughs> Damn. What he doing it again. Just change this fucking topic. Cause you still about winning losses. When you win some, you lose some. And you humble when you get no, it. No, because I heard a point. I was going. And when you said something, it took me all the way I off. ain't say nothing. You just stopped dead in your track. So, what I was trying to get at is that um, you would think that what we went through um, or how I grew up in life um, was a was a win. And I think, but, um, and you would think that a lot of things that people went through in life... Um, is a win or whatever like that, but winning is hard. Winning is, is, is some hard shit. There's a lot of responsibilities to winning. You know what I mean? Um, when you got everything in your hands, or when you think that you got everything in your hands, or whatever like the whatever like that is, um, is is a real is a lot of responsibility to that shit. You know what I mean? Um, because at that point now you got to think about how to keep it. Um, so you don't lose it. Yeah, so you don't lose it. Um, but starting off from the bottom or whatever like that. And and the crazy shit, and I'm going to tell you where I got this from. And, then, and this is what I was trying to remember. Um, I got this shit from Mike Tyson's Hot Boxing with Mike Tyson. He has a podcast. And it's and like one of, one of the top podcasts out there. Um, and not just because of the numbers. So because wait, he of, first, T.I. second, and Joe third? No, no, no. I'm, just I'm, Mike Tyson? I'm going to do a list. I'm going to do a list for the top podcasts. Okay. So everybody's doing top list for like, you know what I'm saying, for, for for rappers or whatever like that. I'm going to do... You do your list. You do your list. You let me know, and I'm going to look at them, and I'm going to tell you if I agree. For the top 10 podcasts. I'm going gonna, gonna to let you know if I agree or not. But, yo, Mike Tyson, hot boxer on Mike Tyson? Hot shit. Hot box? Hot boxer. Hot boxer with Mike Tyson. Shut up. Hot boxer. Sorry, I want to. Oh, I gotta see this. I really gotta see this. Yeah, How many? It. Mike be smoking mad weed on this. He be smoking on his own. Smoking mad weed. Mike just smoke weed now. How he make money? Pigeons. <laughs> Get the goddamn. <laughs> hey, um, what's gonna be? But Mike burned out. Yeah, I see it. But um, I didn't know he had a podcast. But yeah, it's like it's like. Like like when you when you've like not been a winner from day one, you kinda you, you take your wins and they you know what I'm saying in stride and you take your wins and you like, yeah, you know what? It means a lot much more to you. You know what I mean? Um and it's like like Mike said, Who the fuck would wanna l- listen to me with a lisp? Some guy with a lisp and they didn't just talk shit all the time. And I thought about you. And this is what I was trying to get to. I thought about you. And I was like this. Yo, you probably think like, who want to listen to me? Somebody and anything who don't really know how to pronounce things or who fuck up on how to, how to, you know what I'm saying, articulate things and anything sometimes or whatever like that. And Mike was like this and that. But here I am getting a million listeners every week. Motherfuckers like, you might look down there right now and they, you might see like three, you might see four, you might see 10 views or whatever like that. But it's like one day you're gonna look down there and everything and see like a hundred thousand views, ten thousand, you know what I'm saying, um, hundred and fifty thousand views, fifty thousand views and they think five hundred thousand views or whatever like that. Oh, you so a lot of times in the ATM saying it's like this, yo, the things that, you know what I'm saying, like like you might not think it's gonna you you might not be worthy of, you know what I'm saying, people paying attention to or whatever like that. You know what I'm saying? Um, people start paying attention to one day and they, you know what I'm saying? And they start thinking like, yo, you know what? You know what I'm saying? You worth a damn or whatever like that. Don't ever think that you're not worth a damn. Mike Tyson thought he wasn't worth a damn after boxing or whatever like that. And then look at him now. He's one of the top um, podcasts out there. You know what I mean? So when you be saying like, yo, you know what? Um, you know what I'm saying? I got to get my diction right. I got to get my, you know what I'm saying? My pronunciation, pronunciation right. I got to get this and that right or whatever like that. You know what I'm saying? Yo, people going to love you for who the fuck you are. You know what I'm saying? So, being a winner in the beginning is not always the winner at the end. 
sometimes a nigga think it's best to be at the bottom from the beginning. And they think because you're Started from the money, bottom to the top. Isn't that how that song goes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I want to make sure yeah, I said it right. See, see, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> okay, trying to make sure I said it right. right. But, but that's the point that I was trying to make. Nate didn't. I was trying to get to it. Uh, Nate okay. think, oh, that was so nice. So, you know what I'm saying? So, I, I went and really was a million dreams. Yeah, just did. Look on me. Just Are you fucking serious? Yeah. Why? Because they sung to each other? I don't know. I guess it's people like weddings. Well, let's make one up. Let's be Chucky and the Bride. Chucky and the Bride. Yo, when do you see this? When do you see this Halloween shit? Oh she my God. God. Man, babe. Sweet. I got a question. I came up with this idea. Uh-huh. But how is it supposed to work if DJ? Is DJ supposed to be here? We ain't gonna do the album in the chipmunk thing because she might not be here. We don't know if she's gonna show up or not. But if she show up, then who's she gonna be? Yeah, because we already got what we what we said. So what the hell? That's gonna how's gonna work? She's gonna be Roscoe. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out. Show me out. Hey, dis- <laughs> disturb, disturbingly random. No, because. Disturb- no, nobody know what Roscoe is. Disturb- I can't do it. This is disturbingly random. Disturbingly <laughs> random episode, whatever the hell it is. And we out. Yo, we out. I can't do it. <laughs> I just, I, this was Cookie. I can't. Yeah, you never seen me like this, but I can't with him right now. Did you say that? <laughs> on na- on national live, huh? <laughs> that's a, that's what she can be. <laughs> that's what she can be. <laughs>